uh, we, uh, this legislation has just been introduced to the House. I call Mike Saban. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Firstly, can I commend the work of the Honourable uh, Minister Dunn uh, for, on this bill. And I just want to touch on a couple of the points that have been raised by members, particularly from the Green Party, particularly APT in this case, Sir, when they're talking about uh, the importance of regulation and broadening uh, what we do in this space, uh, in, uh, uh, intimating, uh, Sir, that we, that we really look at the issue of cannabis. And I, I just find it highly ironic, Sir, that we're discussing uh, this issue in the House while a member from the Green Party was on Native Affairs television talking about uh, cannabis as legitimate income support, Sir, legitimate income support, uh, and that there are some real entrepreneurial skills from those growing cannabis uh, to support their families, sir. And uh, the, the House will reflect on that, but how can members from that party t uh, uh, honestly get up and make uh, comments and expect people to take them seriously uh, when they make comments like that about cannabis? And let's make this very clear, sir, that this is about synthetic drugs, and this government's position on cannabis is very clear, because we do know the harm of cannabis, sir. We do know the harm of cannabis, uh, and there are more hospitalisations in this country for, uh, uh, for uh, the psychotic impacts of cannabis than any other drug, sir. Uh, so let's make, let's put that on the uh, I'm talking illicit drugs. And that, um, I know that member's position on cannabis. He might like to get up and share that with the house, uh, sir. The, let's make it quite clear. The only uh, uh, safe drug use, sir, is no drug use. And that is not something that has been discussed. The only safe drug use is no uh, drug use. And the world has gone through some concerning uh, evolutions in, in terms of its fascination with drugs in the last 15 years. And uh, over that time, we've seen what has happened in New Zealand with the advent of methamphetamine. Well, Logan Williams and Matt Bowden made themselves multi-millionaires out of the BZP market, sir, so selling it uh, on the notion that if there are these safe uh, alternatives uh, that people won't get into pee. And yet over the course of the eight years that that drug uh, was um, uh, legally available, uh, there was a huge growth uh, in methamphetamine and other synthetic, uh, synthetic stimulants. Benzylpapyrazine was sold alongside lollies and ice creams and dairies, sir. And that really created the notion that if a youngster wants to go out and have fun, then they should be popping a pill or smoking a pipe to do that. And sir, I want to challenge that. And that this bill should go uh, a long way towards challenging that, sir, because uh, when BZP was criminalised, uh, what Logan Williams did and his other backyard chemist friends uh, was they uh, synthesised other analogues and created other synthetic drugs uh, and used New Zealand youngsters as the guinea pigs uh, while they were um, counting up the dollars on their uh, money machines. And, sir, uh, th th this is at the core of what this legislation sets out to do. It is to say that if people are going to produce a substance and people out there choose to take that substance, uh, then the, the people uh, producing that uh, should be able to show that it is of a low risk. And the committee will need to work very, very carefully on what that low risk is, because I would submit that there wouldn't be many practi uh, medical practitioners that would suggest that smoking anything is, is safe. Uh, sir, so that will have to be tangled with by the committee. Uh, look, I welcome this legislation, sir. I don't uh, welcome the comments by some that seem to intimate that we should shift all drugs into a space where they're regulated, because, sir, that is not the case. Uh, this is dealing with synthetic stimulants and a cat and mouse game that we have seen. And I, sir, I hope that those that are producing uh, uh, the K2s and the synthetic uh, drugs out there um, uh, and, and experimenting on our young people, I hope that this sends them out of business, sir, and I hope that it is part of turning the culture around in this country that actually if, you, if, you, if people want to go out and have fun, it doesn't have to be by popping a pill, smoking a drug uh, or getting off their heads. I commend this, uh, sir, to the House. I understand the next uh, call is a split call, the yes, uh, Honourable Marianne Street. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, I'm pleased to take uh, a shared call 